Hi everyone, and uh, welcome to this video tutorial. This is Hydris, the art director and artist for Black Sands Legends of Kemet. And in this video I'm gonna show you the different steps of how I create my uh, illustrations. So, I hope my voice is clear enough. Uh, that's the first time I do this, so please forgive me if there are some mistakes. Um, for practical reasons, I had to skip the sketch part because this is a brand new design for this character and I had to do a lot of research for the pose, the costume design and such and stuff like that. So it would have been very messy for me to edit a video out of that. So today I'm gonna start with the, this point. Uh, but I, I can show you quickly the, the different steps though. Um, this is how I start my pictures usually. It's a very rough sketch. As you can see, it's a thick line. It's uh, really very sketchy. Just to uh, just to uh, find out the the, the 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 pose I like and the composition that fits the the picture. And once I've done this, I do another layer another sketch on top of it which which is this time much more detailed and that's where i really uh, uh make the, the the design and uh, the details of the whole thing and uh, we will start with this for today so i'm gonna hide the first layer it's not not useful for now and I'm going to reduce the opacity of this sketch, not too much, yeah, just enough for me to see. And now we're going to do the line work. I'm going to add another layer, I'm going to call it line. And we can start. Let's get to it. So for the line work, you can use... Um, the brush you like, actually, the, the the basic Photoshop brushes are not too bad for that. Uh, well, as you can see, I have my own uh, my own brush panel, which is um, pretty pretty complex. But uh, don't worry about it for now. For for the this kind of picture, we don't need uh, anything fancy. It's uh, oh, oh, it, it's gonna be very uh, very simple stuff to to make. So I have my own inking brush. So it's a brush that I made myself and I really, really like it. So let's start. Let's start with it. So this step is actually pretty, pretty simple. Huh? Uh, you see, I, I just need to make a clear line on top of it. So uh, there's not much to say about that. <laughs> I don't have a lot of comments. Uh, all you have to do is um, uh, follow what you've done, practice your, uh, your 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 movements, so you can you you'll be able to make some uh, some clear lines. And go. So you you will see when I make the line work like this. I'm gonna start again many times, uh, erase erase some lines and do them again. Um, I'm, I'm never sure in advance, uh, I never know in advance what I'm going to do actually. And right now I'm doing the comments uh, at the same time. So uh, please forgive me if I, if I am a little bit silent sometimes. I have to focus. Yeah, that's not bad. The, not bad. The thickness of the line is good enough. Like this. So I don't think I'm gonna show you the whole process. I'll probably speed up the video later to make it. Uh, more fun to watch 
because it's going to take a while to do this and uh, probably run out of comment after a, after a moment. But as you can see, this, this step is pretty simple. This is just a matter of practice. I'm gonna leave I'm gonna show you just a a few minutes maybe the whole the whole face so you can really see what uh, what 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 I'm doing. Whoops, mistake. Don't hesitate to have um you can also have some um uh reference pictures to help you. Uh, that that's something I, I, I often do. Like on this for these pictures, um when I made the lion, of course, I had to look at uh, real lion pictures because I'm not an expert of uh, lion uh, anatomy. It's not bad. So the, the picture I'm doing now is going to be a little bit different from the, the pictures uh, in-game because I will try to give an uh, anime feeling to this character to show you how, how this character could look like if it was a, an animation movie. That would be awesome actually. <laughs> I hope we can do that in the future. We are really thinking about it. But as you can see, I don't want to make a, I don't I don't make it like a Japanese style, Japanese animation style. This is uh, not something I want to do. I want I want to keep uh, to keep our 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 own style for for this. So the the drawing and the design is gonna be pretty much the same as the game. It's just the the color that's gonna be a bit different. Sorry for the zoom in and out. <clears throat> Try not to add the you see that 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 kind of lines. Uh, I, I often use this uh, to make to make shadows, but it will it would not fit this style. So uh, I'm trying to avoid this for now, and uh, I will <coughs> I will add the shadows later for the during the the, the the color the color step. It's actually not easy to to talk when you draw like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's getting better. So um, I think I'm gonna speed up the video right now, otherwise it's gonna be really boring for you to watch that. Uh, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as the line work is finished. See you in a few minutes.
now that we are done with the with the line work we're going to we're going to apply the basic colors which is a pretty easy step huh? you, it's like a coloring book you just have to to fill the blanks so uh, i'm going to show you a pretty easy technique something that i do usually so um i'm going to first i'm going to create a new layer just below the line one call it call it colors uh, okay and then i will take my selection tool here and i will just select the areas all around uh, not in wrong layer i'm going to select the area all around my characters here as you can see and i will select everything uh, like here oh this is not blank uh, 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 uh. i think we're fine now okay perfect but this little area here. Okay. Then just go into select, modify, and expand. I'm going to expand my selection a uh, couple of pixels. Yes, that's perfect. So now my selection, yeah, as you can see, my selection is exactly on the line, which is perfect. So now I'm going to invert the selection and i'm gonna fill this part with the a basic color so let's say i will go with the a dark brown which will be the his skin color okay, let's go with that we can we can adjust the colors later and then i will just take this tool and Feel everything. That's perfect. So this will be the base of the work. So what I usually do is <clears throat> I just look around everywhere and modify if there is some uh, a few mistakes because that happens. So I just check quickly. Yeah, like these areas. It's not really nice. Yeah, that's the problem when we do hair. There's always some small parts like this, pretty annoying later. So I prefer to correct this part immediately. Okay. Well, this is not really important. Uh, it's just details, but I like to to make it good. I'm a very perfectionist when I when I do illustrations like that. Too much. <clears throat> uh, some part don't look very nice. You can do this very quickly. just that later later in the end if you don't do this step later you can have some troubles because we will at the end of the of the tutorial we will color the line as well so if you have these extra parts it's gonna it's gonna look really really messy okay Almost done, almost done. Okay. Oh, I forgot this part. Erase here. Okay. 
All right. I think it's fine for now. Steal this area very quickly. Right. Okay. Let's, let's say it's done. Great. <clears throat> so now that we have this layer, I will just click on this icon here to lock the layer. That means if I change the color and I want to paint on top of that, you see, that's the eraser, sorry. But if I paint on top of it, I will paint only on the, the area I just created first, which is pretty useful when you have to feel the colors of, um, uh, when you have to feel the main colors of your, of your illustration. Okay, and now we're going to apply the all the rest of the colors. Let's start with the lion. So the lion is a black black lion with the dark gray like this. And now after that, it's pretty easy. You just have to, to fill the areas. Just like that. You can also use the select tools to select some areas and then paint inside. But uh, um, I like the old school way. I just uh, color it by myself. It, I, f I feel the... the the result is is better, especially for this kind of um, this kind of uh, character, like lions with lots of hair. I'm not sure the selection tool can can do the job properly. But after that, that's that's your choice if you prefer to uh, to do this way. <clears throat> okay. Go. Okay, I think I'm going to do the same. Going to speed up the video a little bit. Oops, to finish this uh this part which is pretty easy and uh i talk to you again once it's done